What is going on guys? We just had another massive June technically, but July intrepid live stream where they talked about all sorts of things, Ashes of Creation, giving us some big information on what to expect with Alpha 2. Now getting right into it, the biggest news is the fact that Alpha 2 key sales will be returning in the coming months. What exactly this entails, what the prices are gonna be, they haven't entirely worked out yet. They won't be pre-order packs, meaning you're not gonna get like a rotating set of cosmetics or anything like that. And you're probably just gonna get Alpha 2 access and not beta access with these key purchases, but that is something that is coming. So if you haven't been able to get into Alpha 2 and you missed out on those packs, well, that's gonna be coming back soon for you. So you should be able to find your way in to jump in on the testing if you desire. Not only that though, NDA testing is about to expand and starting in July, Intrepid is going to invite 500 of the most dedicated Alpha 1 testers being players who's put a lot of time in Alpha 1 playing it and submitted a ton of feedback and good feedback and all that along with an additional 500 random invites going out for those players as well. So things are really starting to ramp up. They're bringing in more players now. They're going to start getting more people in to test and stress test these things and figure out all these server issues and fix all the big bugs that may impact Alpha 2 and July is going to be a really big month. Eventually these testing invites will expand and their goal is to have every Alpha 1 tester in at by at some point in August so you can really get your hands on that testing and with them bringing in the last of Alpha 1 testers in August really kind of locks in that September month in my mind of when we will actually be able to jump into Alpha 2 for the full launch of it. Along with that, well, we will be getting the date for Alpha 2 coming in the next live stream at the end of July, which is going to be massive news, and this is going to go alongside with our first look at the Bard archetype. The Bard is the last archetype we haven't seen for the classes that will be in at the start of Alpha 2's launch, the Summoner and Rogue coming later, so it should be a pretty good stream getting our first look at this support class that Intrepid intends to make crucial to the roles of the party in Ashes of Creation. Intrepid also stated that they are entirely confident that Alpha 2 is still on track for quarter three. So all of you there thinking we were about to get a delay, well, it's not happening yet. It could still happen as game development. We'll have to wait and see though. Beyond this though, Intrepid dived deep into Ashes of Creation's networking and server side of things in a stream that was probably quite a bit more boring to the majority of people watching who want that core gameplay and all that and don't really care about the nitty gritty of the behind the scenes of how everything's working. But with that comes some potentially game changing news because as of right now, Intrepid has your basic server meshing, which is basically servers communicating between one another to so control these plots of land to help them reduce the strain of large amounts of players or objects on one particular server. We saw this as the Riverlands is kind of divided up into multiple different servers and players can interact with each other through these and fight each other and cross these with no loading screens, no issues whatsoever. If you watch my other server video, you'll know that this isn't new to the MMO genre. Server meshing has been around for a while. It's most recently been seen in PAX days, you cross between boundaries and it's not game changing technology. But Intrepid studios did in fact state that they are working on implementing dynamic meshing into Ashes of Creation and something that they hope to have online by the time Alpha 2 starts. What they're calling dynamic gridding is really servers coming on and off with ease depending on the situation. If there's a large battle going on and they need more load on that server, they'll bring up more servers online to help ease the performance and transfer some of those players off the server they are on onto a completely different server in a completely seamless fashion that really shows no hiccups or lag or rubber banding or anything along those lines and you shouldn't even be able to notice it's happening. They haven't got this working 100% yet. It's something they're still tweaking and fine tuning and they seem really confident that they will in fact have it in for Alpha 2 start which gives them less than three months to get this thing going. If they get it going though, they will be really the first MMORPG to implement it. Star Citizen has something similar that they are working on, although I don't believe it is fully implemented yet. So if Intrepid gets this going, it could be game changing for the genre because all of those large scale battles like castle sieges and node sieges can all of a sudden get a lot larger because they have more servers coming online to support those single areas that have massive amounts of players in them, allowing for even more players to show up without having performance issues and without having 
the hiccups that you'd normally have and eventually server crashes if that sort of thing happens. All of this falls under what Intrepid is calling IntrepidNet, which is really their own networking that the team has created and their own systems really built from scratch to support what Ashes of Creation needs. And while you will see it function similar to other MMOs and other video games, it's really their own entity that they're trying to add their own spin on to really make it something that sets the MMORPG genre to the next level. Obviously, if you want all the nitty gritty on that, go watch the stream. It is a long one. I personally am not a huge tech guy, so it's not something that I'm going to break apart piece by piece right now to put out a video, but go check it out. It is worth the watch if you're really into that sort of thing of what's happening behind the scenes and how Intrepid plans to fix these server issues. Otherwise though, July is already shaping up to be a massive month for Ashes of Creation as we have less than three months to dive into Alpha 2 and get started. So stay tuned because there is gonna be a lot more to come.